Is he a different guy now than he was a year ago? I think he's more mature. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, I, I think he, uh, we, we said this a little earlier, we've got a motto this year, Philip called, said, earn it. Right. And I think he understands now that, hey, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to earn playing time. You're going to have to earn carries. You're going to have to earn the opportunity to be on the field. And that's what he's doing. So I've been real pleased with uh, just his maturity level. I think he's really starting to grow up and, and, and be the kind of player and the kind of person that we thought he could be. What about Rock? Rock's doing good too. They're both, you know, really pleased with both of them. Uh, I mean, both of them have things, and as a coach, you're, you're wired this way that they need to improve on. And, and, and Rock uh, has had a good spring. I mean, he's done a nice job of taking care of the ball. He's done a good job uh, in the passing game. He's blocked really effectively in the, in the passing game. So. I'm really proud of both of those guys. He had a, it, was last year hard for him particularly? I think rock. it was because I, I don't know how. I think he got hurt the first game. You know, right. he starts the Louisville game, he's doing fine, and he gets hurt. Uh, and, and so I think he, he was kind of dinged up and nicked up for the whole season. And, you know, Peyton came on and had a good season. And at the end, Javon really finished strong. And so I think he was frustrated. Uh, but he's really come out and had a good winter conditioning program, and he's had a great spring so far. Do you coach the, the Cameron and Cox when they play running back? Do you coach them well, too? I've, I guess I've, I've got both those guys now, and so that's that's been really good. Um, so that's you just coach them all the time right, now, right? Yes, okay. correct. And and uh, and they've been they've been a, they've been great to our room. They've been they bring a certain amount of toughness to us that I think we need. Because uh, hey, Cameron Petway and Chandler Cox—they're grown men now. They—they—they they, uh, they can bring the punch as blockers, and really, when we've given them the opportunity to run the ball some at the tailback spot, they've both really excelled. Chandler did on Saturday, and and um, Cam did on Tuesday. So they've—they've they've been great. Do you see that being something you do in the season and situationally? I, 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 I think it, you know it's still kind of early in the process, but. Um, if they keep producing like they did Saturday, then absolutely. Gives us a little different style there. You know, I've kind of always enjoyed having a room where everybody's not the same, and those two give us a physical element that, that you know, Rock Dudden or KJ Dudden or some of the others might not. Everybody always wants to see Jay Prosh 2.0. No one's going to be Jay Prosh, but how have those two guys come along from their blocking standpoint? You obviously coaching them a little bit more to carry the ball, but how are they? How are they doing blocking and clearing things out? You know, Cameron Petway is really a strong physical kid. I mean, he's 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 wired really strong. He's wired like some of the maybe some NFL fullbacks that I've had a chance to coach. Um, Chandler is just a really tough kid. And sometimes right now one of the things we're working on with Chandler is his technique still needs to improve, but because of his want to and because of his toughness, he gets them blocked a lot of times. And so we're working on technique with Chandler, uh, but, but they're – those are two really good players that I, I think have a great future in front of them. How did it come about that you, that you started coaching them well, I, as opposed I, to them being with a tight end? I think one of the things is now we're cross-training them as tailbacks. And so instead of having to, to right. you know, just move them from one to the other, then, then now because they're – they, they pretty much know what to do at fullback, but since we're cross-training them at tailback, I think it's it's something that, that we wanted to try, and we'll kind of see how it goes this spring, but I think it's been effective so far.